Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. God bless you. This is Jamel Hills coming to you with another audio. And uh, if I sound a little funny, I apologize. I am sick again. I have a little cold again. Don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm just taking my little medicine or whatever and um, waiting for the recovery. But uh, <clears throat> I want to get right into this. Okay, look at the top and it says here, how to keep a relationship. And the words as follow. Communicate, talk about things, the good and the bad. Build trust, build honest, be faithful, be there for one another. Make time for one another. Leave the past to the past, which includes exes. Um, know that having arguments are normal. Know that you won't always be happy. Don't expect change. Appreciate the flaws. Appreciate each other. Become best friends. And lastly, love each other unconditionally. Now, I agree with everything up there except for that don't expect change because in some cases, you need to change. Nobody's perfect. There's always going to be things about a person that is not going to be always right. You don't want to expect perfection, but you also want to make sure that you are changing for each other in positive ways that can help build you, number one, as a person, and then build your relationship as well. <clears throat> um, but I do want to follow to say this is perfect. This is nearly perfect, except for that one error that I just picked out. Uh, this don't exist anymore. So it does. In some, some instances, in some cases, uh, you will find young couples out there that really are ancient minded or very old school. Um, it's very rare, but they are out there. I'm not going to say that they're, that they're not out there. Um, you want to make sure that you value and hold on to whoever it is that you have. If you found someone that accepts you and love you and is there for you and is real with you, you better hold on to them because there's no guarantee you're going to find another person like that. Everybody's unique in their own way, so you'll never find that one that was like the other. That That's out. But if you find someone that completes you, that makes you whole, man, you better hold on to them. I don't care what people say. I don't care who's trying to break up your relationship. I don't, you, it's you in it at the end of the day. No one's saying to disrespect anybody, to hurt, you know, hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. But at the same time, you got to hold on to what's yours. Because out here today, love is very scarce. This picture here, 90%, 0.5 of the population don't even understand this here. So if you found someone and you love them, they love you, they accept you, you accept them, you make each other, you complete each other. Don't be an idiot, man. You let go of the right one if you if you want to. It might not be what you expected. Cherish and love each other, people. I encourage you young couples out there, stick to these principles here. Except for that error about don't expect change. Apply this to your relationship and watch it grow. I promise if you do this the right way and keep God first, you will see a change. You will see it grow. I'm going to leave another uh, two-part video that I did in the past called um, What Would It Have Been Like if To Have Adam and Eve uh, All to Themselves with No Modern Day Technology and all that stuff. I'm going to leave that there. You listen to that right after this. It's time to take it back. It's time to go old school, guys. Come on. Hold on to your love because you might not find another one. I'm going to say it again. Hold on to your love because you may not find another. Peace, love, shalom.